Okay. Hello, this is uh, History Gamer XD, and today I'll be teaching you about the Meiji Restoration. So, this is during the late 1800s, right after the Civil War. Um, America comes to uh, Japan because uh, Japan has closed off all of their ports because a lot of um, a lot of culture was going uh, through Japan well, to Japan and they thought that soon, if they had enough of this other culture, they don't have any of their other culture left. And that would be, because when you don't have a culture and you have someone else's culture, you're technically part of that nation, since you don't really have a you know, culture that kind of uh, says that. Well, If you have someone else's culture and your culture is not, um, not, um, there anymore, um, then you can't really, another nation can just say that, okay, this other nation has my culture, this is my territory now. And I think China was aiming for that. Um, so, uh, Japan closed off all the borders and only the Portuguese could come in through the bottom part, I think, of Japan. Oh, let me get my map. <laughs> Oh, jeez. So, um, the light. Um, uh, no, this is my Saudi Arabia. So, Japan, they, uh, this island right here. You can see that. Um, I could only go to where. Fukuoka is, um, Fukuoka, like, the city or town right ne down, uh, south from Fukuoka on this little island right here. They could only go to that port. Any other port, and they will be... So that's where um, the Dutch could only, um, that's their port that they could only go um, to. Um, and that was about it. Um, also, they would, I think they would be arrested or even worse. They would either be kicked out. Um, Arrested, or even worse, which would probably be the the most um, I think it would be like um, they would be executed, um, which I don't really think they would just be arrested. They wouldn't, well, it, it's Japan, it's heel Japan. Anything could happen, anyone could, like, go and... Oh, not 
later. Um, I'm just gonna, no, I won't go. Um, they would probably, maybe just a little bit, um, they might, um, go, um, and execute them, maybe, they're not likely, but maybe, maybe. So anyway, um, Japan closes off the borders because of that reason. America comes in and asks them to open their borders and they just, uh, they give them a contract saying that um, them, America, France, and Russia can come to um can, to, can, can come into Japan whenever they want, and you can well you have to open up your borders. That's it. Um. But, uh, and so. America then shot 12 cannonballs into um, the palace just to make sure, like, just to say, and we aren't kidding. This is how powerful we are. We are very powerful. We have all of um, this weaponry. You still have katanas and naginatas, which naginatas are these very long uh, spears. You can... Um, you could, uh, just, <laughs> I'm trying to say it without sounding mean. Uh, you can look it up. Um, I still need to figure out how to, um, put a link. I probably just copy and paste, right? Probably copy and paste. Um, and... But once I do know how to um, put the link in um, down below, then I will. But I'm just starting out, so please subscribe. Uh, uh, but anyway, um, so in they said also in the contract, any year you'll come back with even more ships, because I think they had only like five ships, or 10, and they came back with a fleet. They came back with a lot of like, a couple hundred, I would think, ships, and the emperor at the time took all of, um, all guns, all cannons, I think, because he didn't want to get assassinated that easily. Um, so, he just took all the guns away. Um, so, yeah, they signed the contract, and now their borders are open. And so, they needed to, um, Japan needed to, um, they need to strength, strengthen up their military. So, they bought, um, Gatling gun. Well, yeah, they bought Gatling guns. The guns, I think, um, uh, you needed to wind, um, and then the turret would spin and shoot out, um, bullets. Another thing would be, um, rifles. Lots and lots of rifles, and samurai... They banned samurai. Samurai, they either joined or made their own company, like Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi, uh, Three Diamond Company. That's um, a company. If there's um, the largest company in Japan is owned by um, well, uh, people who whose relatives were samurai. Um, so yeah, um, oh, 
Also, if you are looking to go to Japan, I recommend there's one thing, and if you liked um, collecting samurai armor, and you have some, like a thing of samurai armor that you can wear and fight in, um, uh, I think in, uh, there's some dates, I forget, um, but I'll make another video on that. Um, there's a samurai festival that is really fun. I think um, some, like, uh, go to... Also, I think the relative of Tokugawa. His, like, great, 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 grandson. I think that's where he will be. So, um... There's the Sakigahara uh, Samurai Festival, which actually some, um, there's a group of people that actually go to where Sakigahara it w w was, and they fight with, um, the Naginanos, the, um, spears, and, because the Katanos were a secondary weapon, it wasn't their main weapon, um, so, yeah, anyway, Yeah, um, enough about that, but, um, so Japan then, um, quickly too, they actually, um, not about, um, the Samurai Festival, but about the, uh, Meiji Restoration, um, their army, they, um, industrialized quickly, like, three months they already and had like all these guns a bunch of normal uh boats um they had and some samurai did rebel um because actually slowly um they're being uh stripped of power because they samurai used to be like Sish. the daimyo with samurai, and they think of them um, as like nobles in uh, Europe. Um, and then there is the emperor, who was also a sam, who was also like a samurai. There was a shogun, who actually in uh, in the second uh, Sengoku period. Um, Ah, um, <laughs> I forgot. Um, anyway, what would say? <laughs> I already talked about how yeah, Japan industrialized quickly, three months. Um, oh, um, the Shogun. Shogun, basically, they are, um, their title was basically to defeat, like, the barbarians in the north. And so, they would usually do that. But, um, they gained a lot of power and so they the military of japan basically became um the rulers of japan um so the daimyo and shogun had a lot of power so, anyway, um, Japan, then, after they industrialized, um, Samurai rebelled, um, I think they lost in a lot, they lost in basically every, uh, battle, because they had unreliable technology, like, they had... Naginatas, they had katanas, they also had rifles. 
bullets weren't as great as the one-shot rifles. Um, well, actually, no, they didn't have... Well, an Oculus is basically a rifle, so... Um, is it a rifle? I think... Yeah, I think it's a rifle. Um, and anyway, so they lost. And finally, um, I think there actually was a rebellion that, um, they didn't like it, and there are two, um, clans, and they overthrew the government and replaced, um, the emperor with the original emperor. I forgot how that, uh, happened, but, um, anyway, the French were also, like, a French officer went, um, on the two clans' side, and they went all the way to Hokkaido. Anyway, that battle, uh, that, um, was, oof. It can be confusing. History can be really, really confusing at times. Um, but anyway. Uh, uh, the, um... So, after the rebellion, um, the military, um, uh, of Japan went to, um, they went to China, and they fought China for a little bit, and then they, um, Japan won, um, they kicked China out of, like, Korea and a little bit more territory. Because they, um, China had all of, um, I think they also had, like, Nepal or something like that. But they also had, um, Korea. Which, um, Japan also had a war with Korea and lost, um, but then they conquered, um, the Korean, what, peninsula or something like that, um, please, um, go down to the comment section below, um, to say whether, um, correct if it's the Korean peninsula, I think it's called the Korean peninsula. Um, but correct me, or don't if I'm right, or please tell me if I'm right. Um, anyway, the... the um... Japanese military, well, the Russian military, then, um, well, the Russian Empire, because it was called the Russian Empire at that time, then it was the USSR, and now it's just Russia. Uh, so, the Russian Empire's military went and, um, because they were building a railroad, um, to, um, going down to where one of the territory that Japan captured. But that's, um, that'll be in my next video. Um, and also soon I might do something about Rome or the French Revolution or Seven Years War, Revolutionary War, Civil War. But, um, anyway, yep, yeah, see, see you in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.